you just heard pop, 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 pop. You heard a couple people screaming. And then probably 10 minutes later, everybody, SWAT, MPD, whoever, they were all in the buildings. Army gear ready, ready to go, ready to go. Knocking on doors, trying to find the suspect. My heart goes out to his wife, his kids, everybody, because it's just a very, 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 very unfortunate situation. And this man was doing his job trying to help us. I don't know if the pandemic, like, did we forget humankind? I don't know what happened with us and, like, compassion for others but somewhere we lost it <laughs> somewhere we lost it and i think we need to we need to come on back I The officers that are entering this department, the officers that are in this department that have stayed, they are committed. They're committed to protecting and serving. They're committed to the change that we've talked about. Uh, they're committing to, to upholding these values that we all want to see, uh, recognizing that the situations that they are entering are dangerous. They don't know necessarily what's behind the next corner or what's behind the door that they're about to enter. You know, right now we are seeing people uh, enter this force that really care. Um, we're seeing heroes that are deciding to step up, to wear the badge that they do, to wear the uniform that they do to make the city a better place. Officer Mitchell was clearly a prime example of exactly that.